Aaron Saucedo, we've heard his name, we've seen his car, and we know the deadly series of horrible crimes he's accused of committing. But how do police know this is the right guy, and why aren't they sharing more details with the Maryville community that was once terrified of the serial street shooter? ABC 15's Melissa Blasius is live at Phoenix Police Headquarters. And Melissa, despite an arrest, a lot of people there still on edge tonight. That's right. You know, Phoenix police credit citizen tips with leading them to Aaron Saucedo. Now it's citizens questioning the police, saying they want to know more of the how and why evidence led them to the 23-year-old suspect. We hope that our community will rest a little easier. You'd think the news of a serial killer arrest would trigger celebration in Maryvale. But there's also skepticism. Uh, I'm not going to cast out. I just want us to make sure we've got the right person. A former state legislator, a community organizer, and a block watch captain joined forces during the Fearfield days last summer to help police. Now they have another mission. I'm asking for transparency. Serial street shooter suspect Aaron Saucedo made his initial court appearance Monday. Right afterward, documents listing evidence for a suspect's arrest are typically released. But not this time. Bill Montgomery has sealed the case. These women say the prosecutor or police should at least make public a summary of findings. As a Maryville resident, we want to make sure that we um, we do our due diligence, that we don't uh, just rush uh, and arrest somebody because we've got some facts. Another weird turn, ABC 15 was first to report that police tested a gun Saucedo Pond at Mo Money Pawn Shop, the same shop where DPS found Leslie Merritt's gun as they tried to connect Merritt with the freeway shootings. Coincidence or not? We're having problems with this pawn shop. Uh, what are they doing with these weapons? Why is the same pawn shop involved in both sides of these ca high profile cases? Charges were later dropped against Merritt. These women now looking for proof that police and prosecutors got it right this time. Phoenix police say they did offer to brief these community leaders this morning, but that offer was not accepted. The county attorney says that they are withholding information from the public in order not to jeopardize the ongoing police investigation in this case. We should also tell you that ABC 15 is taking legal action to try to get the court documents against Saucedo opened and not sealed anymore. We'll tell you as that process unfolds. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.